So once again, if you need some problems, some more problems, uh, this section or the book has 20, 22 problems. I'm going to try to solve them all or at least explain you how to do them. And if you are really interested in that, you want to practice more on this chapter, go to this web page. Then go to courses, reactor engineering, and you will find a lot. Besides theory and other extra stuff, you're going to find these solve videos or these solve problem videos in which I actually solve all the problems. So go under chapter number one, which is the introduction and molar balances. Now, this is the end of this block finally, reactor engineering number one, chapter one in the book. We're done with this chapter. Uh, it was short indeed, but it's super important because we learn re about the rate of reaction, about generation, about the molar or general molar balance equation and how to apply it on the four reactors that we're going to see. So you now, in theory, know how to use, derive and apply those design equations for, deep, uh, for these different type of reactors. So you can now calculate flows, volumes, and even rate of reactions. So I'm very happy for you guys. This is the first step of the course to get to know all the other courses. So this is the plain basic, like the must of the course. So if you understood all, you're going in a good way. You're in the good path to learning. So once again, I took this from the book. You can see it, uh, I think it's page uh, 24. And yeah, we've seen this section, more balance, which is chapter one. Then comes rate law, which is chapter three, state geometry, chapter three, combine and evaluate is also chapter four. And then we go to energy balances. But that's uh, for later. We're actually right now in the more balance. Uh, let me tell you some end notes. You don't need to remember how to get each equation, but you, if you do it, it will help you a lot, especially in the exams. Uh, only be sure where does it comes from. Uh, you know it comes from the general molar balance equation, but how to apply it, for example, in the PFR, how to do the derivation of that disk, the integral, why we use this differential stuff. And now, uh, if you actually just want to learn the equation, it's okay. You memorize the equation, but be sure when can you apply it and when can't you do that. So it's essentially about the idealities we talk, we talk about and the type of processes. You need more information, once again go to my webpage, here you can find in the courses area or you want extra chemical engineering knowledge, go to this Facebook page or simply send me an email. Now this is the reference I recommend you, we are actually just starting this one but you can go and check out the other two books so this is everything we've seen chapter one from this beautiful book from Fogler be sure to buy it it's totally worth it and you're going to use it later and yeah essentially we're done thank you for watching this blog What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.